Mm, welcome back and welcome thank you, back Stephen. to Malaysia. <laughs> That's right. And of course, uh, stay tuned for next week because we are actually showing uh, the part two of the HP Innovation for Impact. Yeah. Uh, next Wednesday, uh, focusing on a business princess as well. Uh, but right now, we are actually focusing and highlighting on trail running and the shoes they are made for trail running. Yeah. These shoes are made for running. <laughs> <laughs> Not for walking on the... Not for walking. Yeah. So let's uh, introduce our guests. Uh, and the lady in white, uh, we'd like to welcome uh, Miss Carol Wong, who is the senior brand manager from the sports division in retail from the World of Sports Malaysia and Number Hutch. Welcome. Yeah, and Miss Angeline Chong, who is the Solomon a product manager from Amer Sports. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank now, you for coming. Yes. Tell us about uh, trail running. What is it all about? Um, basically, trail running constitutes of uh, um, rough terrain mm -hmm. and slippery muddy ground. Mm -hmm. And of course, it has to carry out at uh, various uh, scenic sites. Okay. So, in other way, I can say that uh, it is a different running mm -hmm. compared with uh, on-road running and also track running. Okay. Right. So, it will also include hiking, a bit of hiking? A little bit of hiking. Yes, we, that's why we call it vertical running. Mm -hmm. You are running towards the Alps. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Sounds fact, so adventurous. Yeah, yeah. it in is. Fact, uh, if I may add to what yeah, you're saying, uh, well, the trend is, it is a growing market. It is a growing market, it's an increasing trend because, um, well, I think a lot of uh, Malaysians are actually road runners. Oh, so, man. yeah. On uh, the tarmac all the time. Exactly, yeah. on the asphalt. So, um, it would be interesting to try a different terrain mm -hmm. where it's really challenging on your feet. I've tried it as well. Okay. And that's why we have our specially designed gear and shoes as well. No wonder you're so <laughs> slim. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, is the uh, trend and also the, is it uh, getting more popular, the trail running here? In the yes, year? definitely. Uh, mm. It is a growing market, what we can see. And mm. uh, especially uh, now, the uh, normal on-road runners, they are looking for more challenging you know, environment mm. to run. So they are moving forward, you know, going to more trail running now. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's also more exciting, right? Yes. Uh, because mm -hmm. Well, I think when you just run on the road, well, sometimes all you have is just yourself, the road. Sometimes it's straight, hilly, but the terrain isn't much of a challenge. Yeah. So when you challenge yourself and there's a lot of green around you as well. Yeah, yeah. as opposed to being on the road with the cars beside you. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And I think it also brings one closer to nature and you can appreciate nature. That's yeah. what I feel, personally. Right. Yeah. Um, what about the, the shoes they are made for running? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe Angelina, you could talk about you know since you're from uh, Solomon. Okay. Yeah. Now uh, Solomon specializes in uh, a lot of outdoor, a lot of outdoor sports. So basically, if you look at the shoe, well, I know it looks really flashy. It is. <laughs> yes. It okay. has to be flashy because when you run in the jungle, the colors will make the difference. Yep. Oh. And other people or even animals. It's noticeable. Can see. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So that's one thing. Um, yep. And of course, for people who love fashion as well, it's a fantastic accessory. Mm -hmm. But of course, more importantly, if you look at the bottom of the shoe, now we have this technology called the uh, counter grip. Show? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The grip. Which uh -huh. is very catered for di uh, different kind of terrain. Okay. Yes. Which yes. is normal, uh, different from the uh, on road running. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. And is in the way they make the studs yeah. as well. Well, uh, maybe I can show it to the camera here. Okay. So this is actually the. Um, how grip. how how can how does it grip actually on the, on the ground? Since, um, okay. Yeah. When there is a pattern, you look at a pattern. There is a vertical and horizontal pattern. Okay. So when you step on the muddy ground, mm -hmm. so it will function as a better grip compared with the normal on road running shoes. Mm -hmm. And also, it comes with the skeleton systems, mm -hmm. where it provide a very good stability mm -hmm. when you run in the uneven surface. Mm. Yes. Wow. yes. And so it's very, very light as well, right? Light, yes. durable, everything that you can think. Uh, all the um, all the words that you can think about describing a <laughs> shoe. But yes. I must yeah. highlight something really interesting about the shoe. Yep. Okay. So I was quite impressed about um, the uh, the technology of the sole. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why this shoe is considered top of the range okay. because you know tractors. If you look at their tires, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, for traction. Yep. Okay, so that technology. In Malaysia, they call it bunga. Bunga. <laughs> <laughs> they call it banyak bunga. <laughs> yeah, so that bunga is actually <laughs> adopted and now, uh, well, it was actually transferred here. Oh. So that technology is being used and adapted in this shoe. Wow. 
Why? You can move like a tractor now. <laughs> I guess so. Bulldoze your way through the jungle. <laughs> are, are there like, uh, like local associations or groups that actually support this uh, form Tray of exercise? Running. Yeah. Yeah, um, I personally feel that uh, in Malaysia, um, most of our nature's park we has to be preserved mm -hmm. so that we can get more people to involve mm -hmm. in the trail running. And of course, uh, we need uh, the help from the NGOs to organize more trail running events. Mm -hmm. for, for instance, um, recently, World of Sports has just arranged, yep. organized a Solomon X Trail Run right. in uh, 2011. So we recruited, we managed to get about 1,000 runners. Ooh. Yeah, it's uh, quite a, uh, impressive numbers for the trail running sports yes. at the moment. So we are also looking forward, you know, next year to have about maybe targeting for 1,005 to 2,000 right. runners. And do they all wear Salomon shoes? <laughs> <laughs> about 30%, about 30% because we are trying, because we have a, Solomon just launched a good category right. where they are actually encouraging the people to run, to move from on route to trail, the in shoes Solomon provide shoes. yeah with Solomon <laughs> shoes. It provides both functions by better cushioning mm -hmm. and also the grip. So you can run both, serve the both functions for you to run on the road and also into the trail. Yes. Talking about the equipment, is the running sh the running shoes the only thing that they need, or is there any other equipment that uh, you, you can, can do? equip mm. yourself? You yeah. know, better by getting a belt. Okay. You know, the water belt. What so when you for? Uh, water belt, so for hydration. Oh. When you run, you can okay. just run. I thought because you make yourself heavier. <laughs> <laughs> so More resistant to the body. <laughs> so you have uh, for, for your hydration. Mm -hmm. And okay. as well, of course, a, a set of a proper running vest and your running attire is very important as well. Right. So all that you can get from World of Sports? Yes. Okay. You can now tell it. us about your new outlet. Okay, uh, we have just opened our new World of Outdoors outlets in uh, E-Curve Damansara. Oh, so, okay. we have our first and second in the gardens, shopping mall, mm -hmm. and also Sogo KL. Mm -hmm. So, this World of Outdoors uh, concept, we are actually trying to cater to uh, outdoors enthusiasts right. to have a one-stop shopping, mm -hmm. you know, outdoor shopping gear for them. Right. You can find everything from your head to toe in our World of Outdoor shops in the well, um, Angeline, you being the avid uh, trail runner, um, <laughs> what sort of uh, things that you, you I mean, uh, the things that you have to wear, especially, the, the, is it important for you to have something that's uh, reflective, especially on the clothes, on the vest, you know? Or is it is just it, for style? Yeah, for, <laughs> for safety reasons, of course. Yeah. Well, as you can see, I'm quite a fashion buff. Yes. And I'm in love with these shoes, uh, okay. but well, I, I think it's a very valid question. The shoes are important in terms of uh, colour as well, to pick you up in the trail. Right. Um, and of course, in terms of gear, uh, you need to keep hydrated. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you don't necessarily have to wear uh, flashy colours all the way from head to toe. That's a personal <laughs> preference. But should you avoid dark colours though, um, since you're running in the trail? Yeah. Preferably, especially if it's not an open space, if you are in the jungle. And I must add, well, let's say if you want increased performance, there are, there are are gears to support that um, at the world of outdoors you can find an array of that mm -hmm. uh, for example Solomon also has uh, what compression tights compression gear called the uh, the exo sensifit okay so what just fancy names yes <laughs> pretty much. that one you have to discover yourself <laughs> yes. Yes. but um, people out there might be wondering where can we go I mean what are the locations in Malaysia that we can go for trail running yeah actually in Klang where Valley, I can share with you, you know, hotspots for you. Okay. For example, you can have it at Taman Lembah Kiara, oh. you know, Taman Tun. Yes, yes. Okay, we have Frim in Kepong. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, we also have Bukit Gasing, the very historical hill yes. in PJ. Oh. Yeah, these are the few hotspots, you know, for us to go into that. So we do hope, you know, uh, this place has to be preserved, mm -hmm. you know, so that get so people to encourage people to yes. go into more trail. And the last one that I experienced, okay, and thanks to Carol, uh, <laughs> well, I had my first actual full-blown trail running experience. Right. That was at uh, UPM. Okay. Yeah. okay. And uh, it's a very vast area. In Serdang, area. right? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's so, a very scenic. Mm -hmm. Yes, scenic and, well, the terrain, of course, was uh, a little bit of a challenge for me okay. from uh, road to trail. But, uh, well, it was quite an experience, I must say. Okay, and a lot of uh, greenery. It, is it challenging in terms of you, you have to run all the way through and it's like, you have to turn left and right and then go down and go up, you know. Is it because of the different terrain? Is it is that the most challenging part? Yes, and I think um, what I felt was my feet were, were consi uh, consistently molding and consistently adjusting to the terrain. See, like uh, when you're road running, you don't feel it. 
But after a trail run, if you're not used to it, you actually feel the muscles below your feet actually um, being worked out. And it goes upwards. Exactly. <laughs> to your calves and your thighs. And, yeah. But that being that, um, I must say that uh, well, our our ambassador Killian, yeah. well, he's in Mount KK, okay, mm -hmm. and well, he's one person to look out for and to learn more about trail running for because um, he'll be in town on the 24th. And, That's right. Um, yeah, and uh, I must say that uh, when I first started learning about Killian and his achievements, mm -hmm. okay, Kilimanjaro, uh, Mount Olympus, he's um, well, he's got his own quest going to beat his own time. Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to be in town to give a few tips. When will he be coming, and will he be? doing some trails, trailblazing here. Yeah, <laughs> on the 23rd, we will start off with a press conference and mm. followed by a workshop uh, carried out by Killian John in uh, World of Outdoor Shops at E-Curve. Right. And we also have a session for the fans to meet with him yep. to have uh, some autograph session right. and uh, followed by a clinic, you know, running clinic and also a real actual run in Taman Lembakiara, right. Taman Tun. And if you were to buy a pair of uh, Salvin shoes, you're you always get welcome. <laughs> Yes, yes no problem. You are welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're also actually running a contest. Mm -hmm. If you would like to run, experience the run with Killian together, mm -hmm. right. you can go to our World of Outdoor Shops to uh, uh, participate the in-store contest by buying uh, 1,000 1, products mm -hmm. and above, and mm -hmm. you will entitled to uh, a opportunity to run with Killian. Wow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, experience and the run with Killian yeah. on the screen. Ultimately, you can also join in our Facebook, yep. World mm -hmm. of Sports Malaysia Facebook, and you just post up your photo and a write up with your experience running with Solomon Gear yep. and with your invited your your friends to vote you so you you'll be selected also. Mm. Yes. yes. And I like that that bit. Exactly. I, I've already seen some people this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> yeah, the passionate runners in yeah. trail running. Well maybe all the women out there, I mean, because you you know, you you have done it through experience uh, you can take up take this up as well so that you know once it works towards your legs up you can start to wear all the short skirts and <laughs> oh, very nice legs show off a bit yeah. the men cannot do like you just be <laughs> but, it's okay. but you will be fit yeah nothing yeah, else thank you very much thing. carol and Angeli, thank you so much thank you. for highlighting this about trail running here in malaysia uh, and we hope that this uh, particular uh, trend. Well, it's not really a trend. This particular fitness would actually pick up here in Malaysia, which is good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And